Hey guys, we are going into Defense Born of Bloodstones for an all mission clear. Um, it's going to be a six turn clear. And just up front, it's kind of an expensive clear. There's some limited uh, vision cards, um, some premium vision cards, uh, a lot of cow gear, uh, premium STMRs. Stuff like that, but we're not using any of the new units. It's only going to be a five main clear. Uh, if you can find a friend, uh, Freya, that'd probably make this a little bit easier too for you. But uh, they're all older units. Um, anyway, the missions are all Final Fantasy IX units. No continues, no items. It's a stone, does some single target death and single target stop. Uh, a lot of fire... Yeah, fire, ice, lightning, light, and on elemental magic attacks. Um, yeah, you can read the description. Uh, kind of sad that there's no stone killer buff on Final Fantasy IX units, at least the older ones. But it is what it is. We'll deal. Um, and my Zidane is crowned in the shift form, so he has some decent breaks. Um, I'm sure there's a way you could work in some... Uh, Put a breaker materia on Beatrix and work that into the rotation. Get an 85% break instead of the, you know, ramping 87 to 89 breaks from Zidane's shifted LB. I don't think we're actually going to get his full, you know, full 89% break before we kill the boss anyway. But, um, yeah, BV is here. Um, he's doing quite a bit, actually. He's... Fire imbue, fire amp. Um, he's going to be giving a chaining skill, uh, LB fill, and he has, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's as far as his utility, that's about it. Uh, some stat buffing, too. Well, mostly for himself, but uh, anyway, he is in the base form. A lot of LB fill rate up, LB fill per turn from gear, auto faith. In the base form, uh, Ayaka's vision card for chaining with a dual wield Amarant's normal attack. Then shift form, tried to gear him for physical stone killer. Um, so yeah, those are some pretty sad magic stats. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. So there's his gearing. Amarant, uh, base form, just Lion Emblem to help fill LB gauge, um, auto bravery. He's got a card with chain cap up, uh, building him for, uh, dual wield in the shift form. Uh, it's kind of hard to slot in chain cap up anywhere else. So it's getting that from a card. Uh, as far as gearing goes, Genji glove for dual wield. Uh, dual wielding fists. Unfortunately, there's no weapon in peril for him. He's getting some stone killer from the fist, uh, stone killer from the chest piece and head piece. Uh, dual wield boost from the leg guards, and then Yeti combat style from normal attacks hitting twice. And even at all that, he's still only at 300% true dual wield. But it is what it is. So he's at 275 stone. Yeah. So there we go. Zidane, base form, a lot of LB fill, LB fill rate up. Titus's garb for the LB mod. Uh, Titus's spirit, auto bravery. Call of the Wild for some preemptive fill. We're doing his LB on turn one. We need it again by turn three. So, and he's got uh, Ibarra's vision card. And then Shift Horn, he's a true double hand build. Uh, chain cap up from the card and uh, Materia. So there we go. And he is at max LB, max stone. So there we go. Freya, base form, uh, Dragon's Brush, a lot of LB fill, LB fill rate up. Uh, we need her LB uh, back to back on turns one and two. 
So there's that. Um, she actually has an attack buff that lasts for the whole fight, so that's good. Uh, Ricard's card for the jump mod. Uh, Ricard's helm for a jump mod. Berserker Riku's chest piece for the attack mod. Kamari's pendant for the mod. Uh, chain cap up from the Magister's ring. So, there we go. Anyway, she is at max jump, max stone. Beatrix, space form, uh, reflect ring. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll see if it'll deal with the non-elemental magic. Probably not, but... Anyway, Saintly Castle for preemptive mitigations, Obsidian Bracer, Auto Shell, then Shift Form, 100% um, Fire, Ice, Lightning, and Light Resist, uh, Death Immunity from Genji Shield, Stop Immunity from Super Ribbon, and just Bulk otherwise, and she does need to be Provoking. So there's her gear, and then just a Spirit Vision card. I don't even remember who that came from. Is that Vivi's card? Maybe. I don't know who else is, who else's it would be. But so Beatrix is starting in base form, and Vivi's. Well, everyone's starting in base, so we'll get into it. So turn one. Uh, Freya's going to base form LB, Zidane's going to base form LB, we'll send them first. Amarant's going to rally and cry. Make sure you send him after Zidane and Freya. And then Beatrix is going to shift, she's going to put up cover. And her SR skill that fills LB. So once they go and we get some drops, BV is going to just triple LB fill from his skill. Okay, so Zidane is going to Tyvus' spirit. Freya is going to shift and do a shifted LB for the jump mods, for more jump mods. Beatrix this turn can do her LB just for a long duration general mitigation. BB this turn can, um, uh, don't really need LB fill actually, um, I guess uh, if you were a little shy on Zidane or Freya, you could always fill LB with Vivi, but that's kind of whatever. And Amaran is going to, I mean, if you need drops, triple cast, flare, no mercy, uh, we're just going to normal, just single it, uh, just for a better fire and peril. <clears throat> Okay, so all this stuff that's hitting uh, Beatrix uh, that's getting reflected, uh, she'd resist it anyway. There's just, like I said, a non-elemental magic. I'm kind of curious to see if uh, this will reflect that, but you don't you don't need reflectoring on her. Anyway, regardless, uh, Zidane's going to shift and do his shifted LB. Amaran's going to do his base form LB for his normal attack mod in the shift form. BB is going to uh, Life's Radiance, uh, threefold Faraga for the to give a skill, uh, imbue fire and fire amp, and then just focus. Freya is going to do her Stardust Raid jump. Make sure you do BB first. And then Beatrix is going to use the skill from uh, Vivi 
to chain with Freya. So we'll send Beatrix and Freya, wait a sec, and then send the other two. Hopefully cap their chain. This turn, let's see, what are we doing? Zidane is going to uh, true Tidal Flame for a better Fire and Peril. True uh, Stellar Circle 5, and then LB Phil. Beatrix is just going to change her own Stardust Race skill twice. BB's going to shift. We will Whipped Cream Garden. And then Amaranth's going to shift and just normal attack. And we will drop Freya once the chain builds. So we're going to click Zidane and Beatrix and then just send Amaran and DD right after. And then once the chain's built, drop Freya. So freeze. Nope. Doesn't look like that gets reflected. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. What are we doing? Turn five. I'm going to LB Zidane again. Beatrix is going to do the skill from VV again. Frey is going to Stardust Ray Jump again. And VV and Amaran are just going to quad bolting strike so we will send Beatrix and Freya wait a sec send Zidane and then send Amarant and Vivi Okay, so we should be killing this turn, so we can utilize the technology at our hands and just reload <laughs> Amarant and Vivi. Zidane's just going to triple Stardust Ray. And Beatrix is going to triple Stardust Ray from Vivi's skill again. And then we'll, we'll drop uh, Freya in there at some point. So... We'll just do, yeah, Zidane and Beatrix, then Vivi and Amarant, and drop Freya. And there we go. So, pretty comfortable overkill there, but again, kind of a more expensive clear than I would have liked. Yeah, and sadly we can't uh, can't use quad chaining magic skills with VD. So that's pretty sad, really. It'd be nice if they would have just upgraded the old Zidane, but I understand it's it's a money machine. They got to come out with new and newer and better stuff. But I mean. Phrase and NVA, really, you can't uh, can't give some more love to Zidane. But anyway, I mean the rotation's pretty basic. If you want a slow, slower clear, I mean I'm sure that could be done. Maybe double up on Amarant's, um, or just I mean it sucks that Freya's trance shift. You could always gear her for. Uh, Damage in both forms. And just keep an imbue from Vivi and just keep keep dumping Freya. Freya's jump on like two Amarants chaining the other or something. 
Wow, even Almiron out damages the Dane. That's pretty sad. Didn't even notice that until now. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, hope this helped. Um, I know getting into this at first was kind of a headache without looking at the AI. But, you know, it's, it's manageable. And you can go however long. I mean, Beatrix could keep up her cover and mitigations for, you know, as long as you need. So, but there it is. Again, thanks for watching. Catch you later.